Hello folks, it's Beano Black and I'm back. Uh, still got some stuff with the kids, but here we go. Got a little time to throw the latest out. And basically what you are seeing is just exactly significant earthquakes in the past 30 days. And there you go. 7.6, 7.6, as you can see in the screen there. 7.3 and magnitude 6.6. .6. Now, catastrophically, we've always thought that, okay, if we get something like an 8, Point oh earthquake somewhere. So uh, let's go take a look at also what's going on with. Uh, I'm going to throw some two minute news at you because this guy's got a great thing. Every day you can check in with him. And we're going to go to two minute news. And basically, what he's going to be talking about is what you're looking at right here, what a voice showed you the auroral. And as you can see, I think I can open up and zoom in, get us a better shot of the. of the. But basically, I am at the home of the oral deal. Let's. Auroral. Okay, now we'll zoom to like what that. There you go. So as you can see, he's going to be talking about how the axis is off way back and going towards Australia big time. So we are remember we're going through space at way more than sixty six thousand miles an hour, six to eight thousand miles an hour faster than average. Okay, Earth is flying through space. Okay, as we do our normal rotation and our orbit around the sun. All right, let's go check two minutes. All right, folks, so we're at Suspicious Observers, and he is basically uh, graded, giving you a, a two-minute, and he's got a three-minute today. Now, the, what I screwed up on, I bought my headset and my microphone, so I'm going to have to get a mic to be able to play a video and uh, be able to put sound on. So I changed up and uh, sold my other mic and then uh, got this one with the headset. So now I need to have that a better one because I sold somebody that old crappy one. So... Now, he, he's talking about the magnetisms here on the sun, and they're going to be coming around because we're at the least amount of magnetisms right now. Now, check this out. I'm going to go to two, I believe. Let me see. I'm supposed to have... In, nah, it's Dutch. Well, I want to say how Dutch out there. And now, let me go check this out. Hang on. So, if you go to USGS, they show you this map of Brawley, which actually had an earthquake. And look at all those swarms that are in this. Okay. And uh, you should be able to see this pretty good on the screen. Remember, we'll always blow it up to full screen to watch the movies. And we're going to go down here. And basically, there was a five point something. I think a five, yeah, magnitude 5.5. As you see this, as I scroll through all this information here with the uh, probably swarm, August 26th. Okay. Now, you're not hearing a bunch about this stuff because basically. Uh, scientists are shut up, and basically we just showed you the magnetisms on the sun, which is the least amount right now, and they're coming around. Okay, let me show you that one more time. And here we are back, and you, you can see that, and I'll, let's see if I can get up solar images here in a little bit. I'm looking for the link on Dutch's site. I'm going to go back and play this video that he's got for, and basically the sound is not coming through on me right now. I'm not used to this new miking system, so I'm going to give me down some speaker action here and bring him down so I can hear myself talk. Uh, the seals are always in trouble, but he was showing you that basically that we know we have that ice melt up there, which is crazy. And uh, I showed you the oral earlier. Alaska 5.5 and high as 6.0 and September's getting pretty interesting down around Australia we got all kinds of volcano activity as usual remember you should have my links here I'm hoping still for that volcano over in uh, in Japan and basically it's got severe storms on the east coast uh, So, you got weather coming down there in the Keys. It's not going to turn out to sea, ladies and gentlemen. Scientific data server is going to come back online again. Then he's talking about the magnetisms. We are the least amount right now, half the normal. Okay, so in the future, we're going to have the most magnetics coming around. 
be showing you here the suns on the spots on the sun. I'm going to take you and show you to uh, spaceweather.com. And a big flare we had. Now, everybody's not getting excited when we have sea flares. Okay, they're big. Okay. So, when you get the M's, then everybody gets a little bit more excited. But those C's can bother us big time. Okay. They are going to come at us. Okay. He was saying it might be too low to the south side. We're going to go to spaceweather.com right now. So... The solar north pole with plasma dancing around it. You got some footage there. Let's go to spaceweather.com. Or spaceweather.com, and they've got the spots numbered here. And this is a good close up of what the flares dancing around. And as you can see, they're talking about the magnetics too. So these earthquakes that we've been having that have been 7.3, 7.6, darn close to 8. And I'll pop back to that so you understand what I'm talking about on that. But uh, make sure you read here what they're showing you. And we got flare alerts, okay? Uh, you're going to have good views and everything like that. So now radio flux will get some interruption down here on Earth and radio waves, as you see here. And I'll pop back, and uh, that correlates with what you're getting on the sunspots that we showed you a little bit earlier here. I can scroll up. There's our rural on the North Pole, and there's your numbers and stuff on the sun up there to the left. There's a five prior point. There you go. Okay, so we're going to get some wild radioactivity down here on Earth, and there you get some of the uh, northern autumn auroras. The name there, Chad Blakely, the Bisco National Park over in Sweden. We appreciate that, and this is all getting sent into. I'm at spaceweather.com. We have the coronal holes that also that. Three minute news, two minute news, suspicious observers was talking about. And woo, there I clicked, and there we get the big blow up of it. So he was showing you that, and there's another eating shot of it. Uh, apologize for the video being real crappy today, and maybe I get a chance for another one, but we'll just keep on taking a look here what we got going on. Uh, and then this stuff. It's a magnet, magnetic up there is getting to be wild plasma storms okay uh, I don't think it's gonna be much more exciting than what we've seen all the time from Sechi I'll see if I can blow in and get Sechi going on here too. see what's going on there but this was what everything was from spaceweather.com it's been talking about lately uh, let me show you those quakes again and the new laptop is not very compatible with uh, running too much stuff at one time. So I'm going to see if I can click out a little bit of stuff, get me a little bit more. I'm going to Intellicast in there. I put on the Fire Index. Check that out. Okay, so wherever you are in the United States and North America there, Canada, i got a little bit of a look for you. Uh, that's why the corn prices are going to go crazy, folks. Uh, and a lot of these areas that aren't even showing it right now on the layers there, they got a lot of activity. Yeah, so what was not marked there too basically it's had a lot of drought the whole country has pretty much except for up here way up north folks okay let's get the earthquakes on here let's see what's going on there and i remember seeing this and there was also one that's not going to be shown and there you could i'm not going to read off magnitudes but you can see and uh let's see if we can open it up and you can see that uh alaska's been getting a lot of action so, and Hawaii and the volcanoes are going on and having some action over there. Not very heavy magnetism, but it's basically from the volcanoes that are keep heating up and heating up, and they are not going to cool off anytime soon. And uh, Puerto Rico is getting nailed as usual. And like I say, the screen's not working with their crap. Aleutians, there was a uh, five point something out there earlier, and I keep on saying I'm going to show you those uh, that map again. And we'll go to ROSC here real fast. Plop on over to it. A lot of tropical storms that like uh, three minute weather or two minute news was telling you about. Suspicious observers was telling you about that. So that North Atlantic, Portugal and Spain or all the basically all the lot on the United Kingdom area over there is going to have some interesting weather. Uh, we even have an R interesting in wild weather on the East Coast. And then all this stuff out here.
Now they're projecting the path of that to be here, I believe. And we got a path of this one here to be generally staying out to sea. So, but the computer generation of another storm down here that's not even showing on here right now was what Two Minute News was talking about. It's not going to go back out to sea. So, New Orleans and, or basically maybe just the Florida Keys and the Florida going to get hit again. Uh, this is showing you also the volcano action. They, they got volcano action there, there, there. And I'll think I can get the whole RSOE to come up. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. We want to go the other way. Here we go. Sorry about that, folks. So. Um, so. That's pretty much what we got going on. Uh. I think birds dying places. So you can see all the volcano marks. Here's the volcano marks here. Boom, boom, boom. Volcano, volcano, volcano. It's not new to, new to us. And then the eruption up here. Biological hazard, I guess. Sorry, I was thinking that Iceland had another quake. Norway way out but look at the magnitude so uh stuff going on all over the place and greece and stuff has been getting a lot of action as you can see here the area 3.6 and uh u.s most recent here as you see there biological hazard somewhere it ended up clicking up but you can see the volcanoes boom boom volcanoes 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 volcano action everywhere so that magnetism is going to get even more as we come with those magnetisms when behind the sun are going to be coming around and we're going to get a lot of activity we're on a low side right now so and what scares should anybody would be the yellowstone area because the idea that this is fresh from madison area madison river yellowstone Okay, and this is a lot of activity, but it's nothing new for what's been going on there, and everybody needs to keep an eye because it's a, did it whatever before, and we're going to get a lot more magnetism, and we got the whole world shaking and baking and volcanoes. So, uh, and on the interactive, it also shows up. This stuff really is pretty cool because you can now you can see them way off early, and as you can see, this started up, and then this continues right here. So, and this is coming off the Mary Lake area. All right, so. Tons of activity, all my friends out in Montana. Keep an eye on it. So FYI, these significant earthquakes should make you realize that a lot of this Mother Nature is very significant of late. Okay? This is the last past 30 days, like I showed at the beginning. Of the, so you got a 6.6, 7.3, 6.8, 7.6, 7.3, 7.8, 7.3, 7.8. It's not far off, and more than likely they've been cheating the ticker, and maybe they haven't had pretty darn close to 8. And remember the old Brawley and everything like that, the swarm we showed you. So everybody better start paying attention to what's going on in the world and not watching the boob tube because they ain't showing you diddly. Yes, folks, you can watch the video here at this address. And then basically, I'm not trying to scare you, but we got to remember here on Earth that this is what happened 2009. Okay. Independent observers. There's before. And Jupiter gets interesting weather and everything and gets some interesting action because 2010 got hit again. And I also believe, I'm not sure at the beginning of this, but I think it's, uh, that it actually is being considered that it may have actually got another impact. So, polarity somewhat changing on Jupiter, dramatically, and uh, we are also experiencing our action here. So, this is today, so let's go ahead and I'll show you my uh, clock down here so you understand and realize. I mean, there, we're 1.23 p.m. Central Standard Time on the 18th. 
2012, okay? So watch the next video today.